Hi, Jonathan Perkins here, Beck's Hybrids PFR Agronomist and Location Lead here at the Effingham site. As you can see back behind us, we're out here in the shadow of the cross. We're getting ready to put in our third wheat planting date. So wheat planting date is a study that we started uh, recently, uh, actually last year. We'd seen some data from corn and soybeans, you know, early in the season, uh, talking about the April and May timeframes and what we've seen on those. However, you know, there hasn't been a lot of work done, uh, besides by universities, on what our planting dates are on wheat. So last year when we tested things out, um, what we actually saw with the planting date wheat study is uh, that we saw basically if we did anything in early October and then moved into the mid-October range here at this site, uh, we didn't see a whole lot of difference. You know, it was around two bushels less, uh, which coincides with university data as well. So whenever we look at the uh, data from the later October date, uh, in this case last year we ended up more around the 27th through the 31st in that time frame. Um, and what we saw out of that was around 17 bushels, which coincides with university data as well, um, showing that we can lose as much as one bushel per day past 10 days past the optimum. So between that 10 to 20 day range, um, we can expect to see about a one bushel loss. So uh, with that in mind, you can see some of the dates out here behind us. You can see the early date, the early October that's already emerged and at around the two leaf stage. And then you can see the next one beside it that hasn't quite emerged yet. It is germinated out here. So wanted to talk to you about that study, but we're also going to talk to you about a row width and population study. Um, so what we have done in the last several years is looked at 15 inch planted wheat in comparison to seven and a half inch drilled. Now depending on the season, one or the other has been favored. Um, what we saw out of a dry fall the first year we tested it, 15's had a very strong advantage from placing that seed a little bit deeper. Uh, but with the drill and the years that we've had it in the last couple, uh, we've actually brought that back around and the data is a little bit closer. So we're showing about a 3.3 bushel advantage um, in the three year time frame to the one and a half million seeding rate on 15 inch wheat here at this site. Now, when we look at it combined um, across some of the sites, you know, we're actually starting to work with 10 inch wheat as well uh, over in Indiana. So that's exciting because that's actually kind of merging the two. We get a narrow row width, but we get that good planting placement out of the planter row unit. So something else to keep in mind there, that data actually showed last year to be the best at the Indiana site at the 1 million uh, seeding rate. So with that in mind, there's a couple of studies that we have uh, some highlights from and talking about what we've seen in the past. Uh, we're showing you a little bit of that here today with what we have out in the field. And uh, we also encourage you to look at some of the new studies coming forward that we have. Um, you know, some of the newer ones like planting depth that we started last year. Uh, we're looking at plant growth regulator as another study. Uh, we're looking at closing wheels in wheat this year as well. So that's another one, new one to look forward to, uh, to seeing out here. And then uh, looking at, of course, some fungicide studies as well. And then, uh, as we said, you know, planting dates and the row width and population. So definitely look forward to seeing next year uh, what we end up with those yields as we move into the 2019 timeframe. So again, this has been Jonathan Perkins reporting from the fields of Effingham here uh, with Bex Hybrids, and we encourage you to stay tuned for more on this in the future. And thanks, have a great day. Uh, remember to like and subscribe below and use, and use any comments with the hashtag AskPFR if you have questions for us. Thanks again.